In today's video, we're gonna look at stomata under the microscope. First, we're gonna look at it under 40x magnification. Now we're gonna look at it under 100x magnification. So what's a stomata? Stomata are tiny openings present on the epidermis of leaves. In some of the plants, stomata are present on stems and other parts of plants. Is stomata play an important role in gaseous exchange and photosynthesis? They control the transpiration rate by opening and closing. It also helps in transpiration and removal of excess water in the form of water vapor. The stomatal closure at night prevents water from escaping through pores. It maintains the moisture balance according to weather by opening and closing. The stomata facilitate carbon dioxide uptake and release of oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Now we are going to look at this under 400x magnification. Let's now look at this structure. Here's a diagram of a stoma. We can clearly see two guard cells. Each of them contains a vacuole. These are the dark parts. In between the guard cells, there is the stomatal pore, which opens and closes. By changing the shape of the guard cells, they control the size of the stomatal aperture, or the stomatal pore. Chloroplasts are the tiny spheres that we can see inside the guard cell. Then there's the cell wall. The stoma is guarded by epithelial cells. Thanks for watching. There are more videos coming up for things under a microscope. This will include looking at things under the microscope, such as the spinal cord, various types of algae like rhizopus, cardiac cells, skeletal muscle cells, and more. So stay tuned, science people.